Here's Tim's tips. Number one, we're going to show you how to put solar panels on an RV. Uh, I'm traveling in a 1997 uh, for travel U270. I'm an electrical engineer and I've put 1920 watts of solar on the roof of this rig. Uh, American made panels from eBay at uh, very cheap cost as well as uh, a lot of improvements. So here we go. There's a total of six panels on the roof for a total of 1920 watts. These are semi-flexible panels, so you'll see a little bit of curve on them because they're frameless. And so they're attached solely with VHB tape and brackets that I designed myself that fit on the curvature of the roof. The solar panels are combined in series to reach about 100 volts and then go into the refrigerator vent. The solar panel wiring comes down through the refrigerator and then into the combiner box here, which I designed myself. And it basically combines the grounds and each of the three legs of the solar panels come down and they're combined via these breakers. I also have uh, double surge protection in case of uh, lightning. And this red breaker here is in case of lightning. It's a surge protector as well as a, I made a homegrown surge protector as well. This breaker connects the engine battery with the coach battery. This breaker connects the engine battery with the coach battery and that way I can keep the engine battery topped off. Or in an emergency situation, the engine battery can run the coach. Here is the solar system uh, charger, the heart of the solar system. It's the uh, Morningstar TriStar TS MPPT-45, so up to 45 amps at uh, 80 volts or so is a maximum capacity. Uh, a lot of power uh, to charge the lithium batteries, which are here. They're 16 180 amp hour lithium iron batteries, or Life Po 4, they're called, Life batteries. And then they are connected to the Orion BMS. Uh, junior so it can handle up to 16 batteries and um, Manage them keep them topped off keep them balanced and uh, shut down the system if they uh, Get too out of balance or are over or undercharged The 12 volt system for the coach is run by this IOTA DLS 90. It's a 90 amp 12 volt power supply basically and it can also charge batteries and uh, so that that supplies at 12 volts that's connected to 115 volt AC supplied by the inverter. And I have a small monitoring box here that reads uh, state of charge. Uh, right now we're, we're upwards, well upwards 90, 95% and charge and discharge status. This fan is connected to the inside of the coach. It uh, supplies warm air for uh, keeping the batteries above freezing or from getting too hot. This will extend the life of the batteries. The RS-232 lines are connected to this Dell laptop, which acts as our solar controller, as well as the home entertainment system for the rig. As you can see here, this is monitoring battery voltages. All 16 of the batteries are monitored, and uh, this really helps you get a handle on uh, status, charging status of the batteries. And I can show the live status of each cell in the pack as well as the current. Right now, we are not using the pack, the, actual, the lithium batteries or the solar uh, panels because we're plugged into a campground. Uh, but if we were, you could see the pack current going from plus to minus, minus being a charge off the solar panels and plus uh, being a usage, a demand on the pack. Uh, so this does a good job at uh, controlling the pack. Morningstar has a program called MS View and it shows you the uh, a lot of fe features about the, uh, the, so the solar charging. Right now, as you can see, the, the solar the array is disconnected. Output power and amp hour charge, which is resettable. Uh, so we can, uh, I've had it charge up to 100 amp hours in one day, uh, which is over half the pack capacity just by solar. Well, that's it in a nutshell. This uh, 1920 watt solar panel system with a 9.2 kilowatt hour, 48 volt, lithium ion installation. Hope you join me next time where I'm going to show you how to build this five foot screen in your RV with a projector. So see you next time.